Lawrence from Photocitizen.com. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to modify one of ProShow's built-in slide styles and save it as our own. To get started, we'll drag an image down to the timeline. Then we'll double-click the image, go to Slide, Slide Styles, and in the category for slide styles called Titles and Captions, we'll choose this one called Images of Love. Apply that. OK. OK. Now let's see what it looks like in its original state. The title comes in, and then there are four images that move in from down below. And we'll see that this particular slide style uses four images on four layers. Right now we only have an image on layer one. So let's go ahead and add the three other images that we need. So we'll click on layer two, select file, navigate to the folder where our images are, and select one, double click on it. We'll do the same thing with the other two layers. So now we have four images. All right, let's take a look at this. Click OK to exit out of this window. What I'd like to do is use this slider here. And I'm, I'm mainly interested in what happens at the end of the slide to see where everything ends up in position. Let's actually back it up a bit so I can see the title. All right, let's start by working on the caption. So we'll double click on the slide to get back to slide options. We'll click on captions. And right away you'll notice something unusual about this particular caption. There are four letters, L-O-V-E, and each one is on its own caption layer. We don't need to be that elaborate for our purposes. It's not going to look a whole lot different without those layers. So what I'm going to do is remove three of them. I'll select the O, click the minus sign. The V is automatically highlighted, click the minus sign, and the same thing with the E. So now we've got just one caption, and we're going to change this to something that fits our images a little bit better, which I've decided will be Zoo. So we type Z, six space bars, six more, and an exclamation point. Now I'll need to drag this back towards the center of the frame. Now let's work on the images. So we'll go up to the Effects menu. And in the effects window, on the left-hand side, we see the starting position of the sequence. On the right-hand side, we see the ending position. If we want to get a better look at that, ProShow has something they call the precision view. So let's go there now by clicking on this magnifying glass with a plus sign over here. And now let's do a couple of things to see a little bit more of our project. The first thing we can do is maximize this window. It gives us a large view of the screen. This entire area is what the viewer will actually see. But for our purposes, we'd like to see a little bit more than that. And let me show you how to do that. If we go up here to the zoom control and either drag this slider or just click and type in 50% for our purposes here and enter, you'll see that now it still shows us everything the viewer will see, but it also shows the area outside the screen. And you'll see that our four images start off outside the screen and that's why we don't see them in the beginning. Now let's have some fun with these images. First of all, let's start with this image that's highlighted and let's rotate it. Just some oddball angle here that we'll choose. And we'll do that with all the layers. Alright, now let's preview this by clicking the play button up here. And they're rotating in, and they're lining up. They're still a little bit too big at the end because we haven't changed that yet. So let's stop the preview. There's another problem that we can fix in this window. The corners of these images, now that we've rotated them, begin on screen, which is not what we wanted. We want them to start off screen so that the only thing you see at the beginning is the title. That's pretty easy to fix. Let's just click on an image and drag it off the screen. Do that to all the images. Now if we preview it, you see it'll start off blank and then the images come into, into view. And now let's fix the ending position of these images. So we'll click on the ending position button. 
And since we don't really need to see the work area outside of the screen for this, let's go ahead and zoom back to 100% by clicking this reset button right here. We need to reduce the size of these images. So if you look at this one right now, and go over here and look at zoom, we see that it's set to 35%. Let's just try changing them to something around 20% and see how that works. So now we've got all four of them set to 20% and it looks like it's going to line up the way we want. Let's go ahead and exit the precision view by hitting close. And then it takes us back to the slide options view. We'll also close that by hitting OK. And then on this main preview we can drag the slider to the end. And we can see that it the four images do line up. There's enough space between the title and the images, so it looks pretty good to me. Now, I'm not too happy with this white background, so let's go ahead and change that. Let's open up the slide options again. We'll go to Slide, Background, click on Image, Browse. We're going to add an image from Media Source. These are uh, backgrounds that came with ProShow. So we'll click Add from Media Source, click Open, and then we'll navigate to the backgrounds. And we'll choose one. Let's go to this abstract down here. Double click it, and that becomes the background. Now let's preview this and see how it looks against our new background. There comes the title and the four images. The title is a pretty light gray and doesn't show up very well against this background. So we're going to have to make that a little bit darker. The other thing I've just decided is that I'd like these four images to have a border around them so it sets them off from the background a little bit. So let's fix the caption first. So we'll go to Captions and over under Color we'll click Set. We'll choose the eyedropper tool and we'll click this dark gray that's on the background itself. Come back over here and click Set Color, and you can see that the caption is now much darker. And now let's add the border to the images. So we'll go over here to Layers, and we'll click on Outline, and we'll change the color of this outline to something similar to the title. So I'll come back here in the same general vicinity with the eyedropper tool and click it and then set color. So now we have a black outline or border around this one image. Now we could go to each layer and do the same thing to each one of these, but there's an easier way. Let's go back to the first layer that we worked on. If we right click on this color swatch, we get a pop-up menu and one of the choices is to copy the color to all layers on this slide. That will copy this outline color to the other layers. Let's click on that. So we saved ourselves a little bit of work. We've got a border on all of them. All right, now I'm happy with the slide style that we've created. So let's go ahead and save it so that we can use it in a future production. We'll double click the slide to go back to the slide options window. Click on slide and slide styles. This time we'll click the create button. And let's start by giving our slide style a descriptive name. I'll call this one Zoo for Images. You can call it whatever you'd like. And the category, let's go ahead and make a new category. Because right now we're just seeing the basic categories that came with ProShow. I like to put my own customized styles in my own category folder. So I'm going to change the category to My Styles. In the description, you can write a brief uh, description of what this style does. You can leave these next two fields blank if you'd like, but I'd like to take credit for my work. We'll check this box here where it says Aspect Ratio. Click OK. And now we'll see that we have our style called Zoo for Images. We'll also notice that it's under a category called My Styles. So that's how you create a new slide style. Look for more lessons on ProShow Gold at photocitizen.com.